Now our other big story tonight, the baby formula shortage continues and it's hitting home right here in the Mid-South. Well, tonight doctors say that they have been treating two children at La Bonner as a direct result of the shortage. Fox 13's health reporter Mandy Rock joins us live outside of the hospital tonight. Yeah, Mandy, you talked to one of those doctors treating these two children. And we just found out in the past 40 minutes that one of those children was well enough to go home. But in this case, both of those children had medical needs, which required them to use a certain kind of formula, but neither their families nor doctors could find it on the shelves. The doctor I spoke with told me that they are finding ways to treat them, but it's not a long term solution. This is literally not just Memphis, not just, you know, Tennessee or the South. It is literally all of North America is being affected. Healthcare experts are calling it a national crisis. Baby formula so scarce, it's not only difficult for families to find, but also for hospitals that treat sick children. And we're trying to do some different quote unquote doctoring formulas uh, that aren't usually used for this kind of a situation to try to see if we can find something that will work. Dr. Mark Horkins is a pediatric gastroenterologist at Le Bonner Children's Hospital. He said he's treating a toddler and a preschooler as a direct result of the shortage. They both live with intestinal disorders and require a special kind of formula. They can't absorb the, these other formulas and they end up getting dehydrated and falling behind. When their parents couldn't find the formula on shelves, Dr. Corkin said they used a different kind. Right now, he said he's treating the children with IV fluids and nutrients until the formula becomes available. This is the way we were practicing 30 years ago when I started in pediatric GI. We're back because some of the, the modern advances, breakthroughs we have are not available. Dr. Corkin said he expects more children will wind up in hospitals if action isn't taken soon. He's now calling on state and U.S. leaders to step up efforts to fix the issue. I would like to see uh, somehow that our folks work to, to, to prevent this. We, I don't want this to ever happen again. And again, there is some good news. The younger of the two children being treated here has been released. And if you are a parent having trouble finding formula, Dr. Corkin said there are some things you can do. I'll have his recommendations and how moms are helping other moms coming up at six. Live in the Medical District, Mandy Rock, Fox 13 News.